How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of a, a little bit of carton up in this piece. A beer I actually wanted to try, and I missed the first time it came around, but they brewed it again. And that be their Frusta. Yeah, this be an Italian Pilsner, 4.2% alcohol by volume, carton brewing. Done and done. For those that uh, they read a little story time, no, they don't. They usually write story time on here. They didn't do it in this beer. The hops are Hallertau, Magnum, Middlefur, Herzberger, and Blanc. And malt is uh, Pilsner, Vienna. Sour malts and carafoam. Yeah, um, Italian Pilsner. Um, Italian born, California bred. Uh, and now it's kind of a thing that everybody does. Uh, so we'll see how the sucker sits. Basically, you're talking about a not aggressively dry hop Pilsner, but something a little bit more ag aggressively dry hopped, <laughs> kind of Pilsner wise. Label wise, it's carton almost to a T, but it doesn't have that big kind of blank white area um, that they typically have. Yeah, a little bit of departure what they're doing. Actually, you know what this is? It's a clear sticker, that's why. It's a blank can with a clear sticker on it. Anyway, uh, what does that look like? That looks like soft, unfiltered, beautiful looking. Lager, Pilsner lager, lager Pilsner. Yeah, yeah, just that ever so slightest bit of haze from unfiltering. White as white could be, sea foamy kind of head, and just a snow globe level kind of soft carbonation going on. So I mean, it looks all the parts of a lager. I actually brought a lager glass out here. I don't know why I'm not drinking this out of a lager glass. Anyway, let's get it on the nose. I mean, it's just a soft kind of Hallertau based kind of um, old world kind of hoppiness. Um, you know, old school German hops, a little bit of soft bittering, a little herbalness to it. Um, and, but there's this nice sweetness to it. Um, there is a little bit of citrus coming off on those hops too. So when you add that little bit of, a uh, little bit of citrus um, from the hops and then you add that sweetness from the malt, you get a little spritzy kind of summery afternoon kind of vibe to it. Yeah, I mean, it comes off as just a rich, well done, clean for and change percent Pilsner. Kind of what I wear right now. It's the fall, it's cool out, but the sun's out, I'm out. Cheers. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Like, really good. Man, I like that beer. It's soft, man. I didn't expect it to be this soft of a beer. That Atlantic Highlands water does wonders with this lager. It's got a minerality to it, but it's also soft at the same time. So it has this mineralistic kind of water dirty thing going on but it still has that kind of ultra clean crispness you get from a lager. Sure, that sounds like a bit of an oxymoron, you know, crisp and soft. How the fuck is that happening? But it's there. It's got a soft mouthfeel, a crisp, clean, quick finish, has a nice bittering, leans more heavily into a little bit more citrus than a nose leaves you to believe. So there is that kind of soft spritzy of that kind of orange, kind of, um, nah, it's not even orange. It's like a, like a, what are they, Madelines? Madelines? like little tiny nectarine kind of spritziness on it. But the bittering does have that soft little um, kind of herbalness, a little spicy herbalness, almost like peppery-like to a point um, that is kind of reminiscent of a lot of kind of well-done kind of German-style hopped kind of pilsners. Man, this is actually really good stuff. You know, I kind of sit here and do this review and it's a big fan of, of Steal This Beer, their podcast, um, and the, the jokes they make about Italian pilsners. It's kind of funny. You go into it kind of wanting to not view the beer as a joke, but to view it as something a little tongue-in-cheek. But this is pretty ultra-well-made serious shit right here. This is not a joke. Not, I didn't expect it to be a joke like that, like I said. But since they joke about this beer quite often on, on, on Augie's podcast that he does with John Hall and, and um, Justin Kennedy, it, it, it's, it's just... It, it, I, I knew the beer was going to be serious, but there, I thought there was going to be a level of kind of funniness to the beer, but it, it's so, it's not serious. It's just super well done, super crisp and clean. The weight kind of shows that soft little citrus side on top of a really well done water nerdy in a, and in, in, in water nerdy, I mean that mouthfeel I typically get from water chemistry nerds, but I think this is just Atlantic Highlands doing its thing kind of uh, mouthfeel to it. It's just an absolutely fantastic Pilsner. I'm gonna drink, I got four of these, I saved one for my buddy Keith. I kinda pissed out that I didn't buy more of this. I wanna drink it all day. So let's talk about this beer. Actually, let me take another fucking sip. How about that? Mm. Yeah, all day with this. Is this one of the better Pilsners I've had as of late? Yes, 
Mount Rushmore status. I love this beer. I'm a big fan of what Carton does. They're a little bit maligned. A lot of people give them a little bit of kind of, um, you know, I don't want to say attitude, but a little bit of kind of like, ha, ha, ha. they do weird shit kind of stuff. So they have a little bit of kind of, a, I don't want to say a hater following, but I think anybody who does something well has a hater following. But, you know, I dig what they do, and what they do is interesting stuff. But this is probably one of the more OG, original, kind of super clean, crisp kind of beers that I've had from them in a sense of like a lager kind of Pilsner. And, well, I've had Whip, and I've had some other beers from them that are kind of in this kind of uh, classification. This is probably the one of the more... It's weird, because I'm going to be an oxymoron again. One of the more close to the vest yet kind of showy beers that I've had. You know, it, it, it's... it's um. It's a, it's a, um, an adulty, a, uh, a confident kind of show you beer. It's not like egotistical. It's just doing what it's doing. It's doing it well in a really tasty package. I like this beer. That's all I can say. I think it's fantastic. One of the better bills I've had in recent memory, and I've drank quite a bit. Mount, like I said, Mount Rushmore status. Value and availability. I want to say I paid 14 bucks for a four pack. That's kind of your going right for these craft pilsners nowadays. So I'm not going to get in a soapbox and talk about how this should be cheaper and leave you with if you like what we well, like this beer. I mean, if you like pilsners, if you like your pilsners to be a little bit aggressively dry hopped, your Tipo pills, Pivo pills kind of thing, um, those kind of pilsners, if you like those kind of pilsners, those, uh, those kind of classic kind of Italian pilsners. You'll like this, but if you also just like the new school fuck duggery kind of pilsner where they go a little bit more aggressive with new school hop, sure, you're not getting that new school hop in the malt, in the hop bill here, but it does have a soft kind of fun citrus thing that plays in there. So if you like these new kind of boutique um, kind of pilsners a lot of these new breweries are doing, then this is definitely going to be for you too. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it, massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive. If you want to check me out doing a whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed a little carton pills right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.